Vacation is a really funny word, because in reality, it means escaping from your biggest fear. Now, imagine your biggest fear. Alright, how big's my face ready to come away from? <laughs> Tie that with Owen. That is my life. Oh my god! Owen has never seen more food in a concentrated area in his life. Did I have the heart to tell him that we were eating tacos today? Dude. Alright guys, this is our plan. It's about 3 o'clock. I'm guessing it's gonna take 10-15 minutes to walk down to 3rd Street. 10. And then if we walk all the way to Salt and Lime, hang out, get some waters, I think we'll make happy hour in time. <coughs> Um, With the plan set, it was time to head to our first taco location, which was Salt and Lime. Little do you guys know that I actually work there now, and uh, recently caught on fire, um, so I'm not working there as much anymore. I don't know, what do you want to go after that? So we're going to go to Salt and Lime? Okay. First stop, Salt and Lime. You're about to see the inner mechanisms of one of Steamboat Springs' best taco places in Colorado. Right this way, boys. Starting at Salt and Lime, we have tacos at $3.75 each. We got the Al Pastor tacos this time because we wanted to mix things up. Because steak tacos aren't as exciting. Besides, Al Pastor has much more flavor to judge. So let's see how Salt and Lime's tacos compare. They're fire. That's hot. That's hot. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll start it at a 8 out of 10. Okay. There we go. Same thing, cilantro. <laughs> Who can try the most water in uh, the best amount of time? Two. Nope, can't do it. So this is what I think. Our rules are to be quality of food, how fast we got them, and was it worth it for a price, you know? So for taste, I'd say they're about eight. How long did it take? I'm gonna say it took about, well, we'd have to wait, wait 10 for minutes hour. for happy hour. And after that, it took about another five or six minutes. Top, way thumbs up for that, so. Right now, we're hovering around an eight. Our second taco stop was Taco Cabo, a restaurant a little further out of town, but still accessible if you want some good tacos. An important note to point out is that Taco Cabo stands out from the rest of the other taco shops with its unique design and fun color palette. That face looks like you. <laughs> All right, so here they are. But I mean, so they were a little bit more expensive at five fifty a pop, six bucks after tip. Mm. This stuff is so good. I'd give it a solid everything here. You know what? Even though for the price, and you don't get chips, I'm gonna tie them with them. They're really good. Uh, grade? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Right. 8 out of 10. So, this is what we're doing. Oh, look at this. Look. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank this you. is the Mexican Korean pesto oh, wow. on an organic loaf that I made today. Ooh, Thank awesome. You so much. Thank you. Mmm. That's really good. So, the great thing about Taco Cabo is you can come here every once in a while and he makes food just for customers to try. It's, you can't beat the very personal connection that you get with customer this place. Service too. There's a lot better service because it's very one-on-one. -on -one. And um, yeah, uh, so far so good. I haven't tried the taco yet, but this is really good. All right, here we go. Wow. Okay. At the back, I just say it is a little bit drier, but there's so much more flavor packed in. 
and I feel like the meat really works well with all the other ingredients. It's very delicious. 8 out of 10. Based off of Owen's three methods to determining a good taco, we have to look at the three. Quality, speed, and price. The quality, 8 out of 10. It was super good and delicious. It was pretty fast as well with a 10 out of 10 efficiency. And as for the price, I'm on the fence because it was about six to seven dollars, which is sort of out of the range uh, in comparison to other tacos. You definitely are getting a slightly bigger taco and you're also getting the taste and you're also getting the environment of Taco Cabo. So it lies at an eight out of 10 as well. Our third and final taco stop was The Cabin, a restaurant that lies in one of Steamboat Springs' local resorts. A quick disclaimer that Owen did work here while we filmed this video, but it, as you will see, had no bearing on what we reviewed the food as. So first impressions from the taco? Um, I don't know. See, this is weird. Both of us. I've never had these before. He's never had the ones at his work. To be frank, to be and frank, the meat looks like fucking shit. It looks like cat food. <laughs> But, you know, let's, I mean, you can't judge until you do it. Here, grab yours. Let's cheers them. Okay. Like. Mmm. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Tortillas are so dry. Everything's dry, dude. Mm -mm. Put green sauce on it. It makes it better. <laughs> these kind of suck. Yeah, these are really bad. I'd say, like, Six. No, I, I'd give it a one. It's food, free drinks, free bed, free Americano. Okay, but you work here. <laughs> yeah, six. Um, it's kind of pricey. It took really, it was really quick though. Hey, rock, paper, scissors, whoever loses has to eat it. <laughs> you should have said two out of three. Two out of three. <laughs> yes. Oh. <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah. Wait, did you really think I was gonna eat this taco without throwing it at the wall? Well, you were wrong. <laughs> With the second iteration of Taco Day all complete, it was time to head home and digest. The food was just, the, the taste was awful, and uh, I, the price was just terrible as well, so I'd say maybe a 3 out of 10. See you guys for next year. Taco Day 3 is gonna be even better. Stay tuned in 2020 and you can click the link below to see last year's taco day. See you guys.